My name is Justin Folks. I'm the Deer Project Leader for the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, and my job is to help manage deer populations in the state of Virginia. Who is involved in deer management? Well, really everyone, honestly. Um, as I mentioned before in our regulations process, uh, the, the general public can provide comments on how we amend regulations and so forth. Our hunters are obviously very critical to, to deer management. All of our biologist staff is involved with deer management. Um, but as far as like the, the oversight of the deer program, it's myself, uh, Katie Martin, who's our deer bear turkey biologist, and Nelson LaFawn, who's our forest wildlife program manager, are the ones that kind of oversee the entire deer program. What is DMAP and how is it used? So DMAP stands for the Deer Management Assistance Program, and it's one of the few different site-specific deer management programs that we offer throughout the state. Um, through DMAP, uh, landowners or hunt clubs will apply to, to join in on the program. And basically what it comes down to is that when these landowners or hunt clubs harvest deer, they provide us with biological data like weights, um, whether does are lactating or not. Um, they submit a jawbone to us to get an age estimate. We're able to uh, estimate the age of a deer based upon tooth wear and replacement of those jawbones. Um, and if they're a buck, they take some antler measurements to give us and whatnot too. Um, so the benefit to the landowner is that not only do they get on-site technical assistance from our biologist staff, they will get uh, doe tags, additional doe tags for free if they want them. So if they have a specific site management goal of decreasing herd numbers, um, in exchange for getting biological data from them that we use for our population reconstructions and, and other deer management, they can get antlerless tags for free that they can use to take more deer to meet their population objectives on that property. Why did you switch to electronic check for deer? One, it was very expensive to send out all these, or to print and send out all these physical check cards to the check stations across the state. Um, it also took a while for all that stuff to get sent back to us and to go through and enter all that data. But nowadays with the electronic check, we can actually get real time looks at the deer that are being checked in on each weekend or day and that sort of thing that we want to look at. Um, so we're able to get the data turned back around in a much quicker time frame, and it's also a much cheaper way for us to do so. What are some big issues in deer management today? One of the biggest right now is chronic wasting disease, which is pretty well established in northern, northwestern Virginia, like Frederick County and DMA-1, our disease management area one, but also popping up in other areas in the state, now in southwest Virginia. Uh, chronic wasting disease is a 100% fatal disease of deer that causes uh, neurological deficits in deer that cause them to starve to death or waste away, hence the name chronic wasting disease. And it's spread through direct or indirect contact between deer. First things that we try to do when we notice CWD in a landscape or in an area is to try to decrease herd density around that positive site so that there's less chance of deer coming in contact with one another to potentially spread that disease. So that's one of the major things that we're concerned about now. Another one that kind of goes along with that is the decline in hunter participation in the state. So we use, obviously we use hunters to manage deer herds in Virginia. Um, and as hunter participation declines, then that ability for us to effectively manage deer population uh, suffers. And when we're trying to manage something like CWD or other deer diseases that are density dependent or dependent upon how many deer are in an area, that makes it pretty tough for us to manage those deer. And also when we have more uh, people on the landscapes, so our human population is also increasing. There are more deer human conflicts. And so as that stuff rises and we're losing the, the hunter numbers to effectively manage deer, that's also another problem. How can the public get involved in deer regulations? So the public can get involved with deer regulations or deer management in Virginia by participating in our public comment periods every other year when we amend our deer regulations. Uh, they can also get involved when we're revising our deer management plan, which is coming up within the next couple of years. Uh, it's a 10-year strategic plan that outlines the methods by which we will manage deer across the state. Um, 
as well as the direction that we'd like to see things go, whether we want to increase, decrease, or stabilize deer populations in, in different parts of the state, why. Um, it also looks at the history of deer management in Virginia. Uh, so as we revise that plan, we also look for public input on what they would like to see included in that plan and how they would like to see deer herds managed going forward in the next 10 years. So for those of you that are still interested in more information on how we manage deer in Virginia, uh, I encourage them to check out our website and submit an online inquiry, or they can check out our deer management plan that's posted on the website. A lot of the more detailed information about how we manage deer in Virginia is listed in the deer management plan. We appreciate y'all taking the time to watch this video today. I'm glad you all tuned in. My name is Justin Folks. I'm the deer project leader for Virginia, and don't hesitate to reach out to us for any more questions or comments about deer management.